Hello and welcome to the Amateur Machine Shop YouTube channel. A few weeks back I made four tangential lathe tool holders. I then had to remove the fuse holder and place a circuit breaker in place as the little lathe couldn't handle the heavier cuts. I have broken the clips to show cuts on a 2 inch precision ground shaft and a 3 quarter coal roll steel bar for each tool. The 2 inch shaft caused much vibration due to a small chuck and a light build of the lathe. The first tool is a 5 16 tool holder set at 45 degrees. I sharpened and ground the angle to a positive rake for lathing. I have tried to keep the cutting depth the same for all the test cuts. The depth of the cut is roughly 20 thousandths of an inch on the radius. I am trying hard not to push the lathe too hard but still end up tripping the spindle drive. Deeper cuts and lighter feed will not help even in the low gear setting. While machining the 2-inch shaft, I tried various RPM to decrease the chatter. Going higher or lower didn't make a noticeable difference. The lathe isn't built solid enough for heavy roughing, so light cuts will be the only solution to keep from tripping the spindle. While I was lathing, I thought I noticed the lathe carriage move up when I was taking a heavier cut. So with my hand, I pulled up on the carriage and sure enough, the bit bites into the material. With mostly using the lathe for light work, I have never really noticed that the carriage had that much play. This is another issue that needs to be addressed. Moving on to the three quarter shaft, the initial cuts weren't all that appealing, there was a lot of chatter. It could be that the test shaft was too long and I may not have had the right grind angle on the bit. I did increase the RPM to 800 and that seemed to improve the cut, but still some chatter was occurring. If I tried to feed faster, the lathe simply cut out. Moving on to tool 2. For this tool the 5 16 high speed steel bit is set to 90 degrees. I tried various RPM and feeding by hand. There was a lot of vibration and I think the cause is mostly due to the contact area with the steel and or maybe the grind angle on the tool face.
Some further modifications are needed to the tool bit clamp to allow the tool to get closer to the cut area and the chuck, should the need ever come up. Adjusting the RPM allowed for a few decent cuts. Using too high of an RPM along with the vibration caused the bit edge to wear down. The third tool is the 1 8 carbide shank holder. Of the four tool holders I made, this tool seemed to work the best. It cut fairly well in the 2 inch shaft as long as I took lighter cuts, otherwise the lathe cut out and I had to restart the cut. Increasing the RPM helped some but created more vibration. On the 3 quarter shaft at 700 RPM, the tool bit seemed to work really well. Got some nice swarf coming off the tool bit. Midway through lathing, I increased the RPM and made a few nice cuts on the 3 quarter inch shaft. The last tool bit holder is the quarter inch carbide shank holder. I tried all sorts of things, light feed, various RPMs, but nothing took away the vibrations. The amount of reed eye on the bit that cuts the steel is too large for such a small leaf. This tool would be reserved for aluminum and when I need a large reed eye on a part.
The tests I did were simple. Much more time could have been spent trying the material extended at different lengths from the chuck. Different grind angles on the tool bits will have to be tried as well. Perhaps once COVID restrictions are lifted, I can try the tooling on a larger lathe and really see what these tools could do. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing and giving it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.